for just helping me um, find this lab, which we love, absolutely love. And they do such a great job. And I just wanted to encourage um, everyone out there who's working or just working part time that everything is going to be okay. And I feel like what I've been doing more than anything to stay in a good place is just kind of limiting my exposure to media to like five, 10 minutes a day. And then really just looking into the word and looking at the Psalms every day. In particular, I've been looking at Psalms 91 and it's been really helpful because I feel like stuff is gonna happen around the world and we can have protection and we can have safety and we can have peace of mind, which is actually so much more important than anything else. So I just want to encourage everybody out there and it's been really good to just have this time of rest with family. It's actually been a huge blessing. So I hope I don't have to go back to work quite as hard anymore after this, but it's just been really good and a huge blessing. So I hope everybody sees the, um, the good parts of this part of um, this time in the world and um, and just encourage everyone, just pick up the Psalms and put more of the Psalms in your life than media and things will probably start feeling really good. What is your perspective on the COVID-19 and dentistry now, right now? Yeah, I think we definitely have to be really, really cautious because we are dealing with the mouth and the oral cavity. Obviously, this is where it's originating and, and, and spreading from. Um, so particularly at my office, we've just kind of done some things and we just continue daily to look and see what the updates are. But I do think that um, just under the radar, a lot of the doctors and dentists that I've been talking to feel like they've probably already been exposed months and months ago. So um, whether it mutates or whether it just completely goes away or whether it gets worse, we just don't know at all. But there's kind of a sense that um, maybe we're gonna be doing a little bit better than the predictions are saying. So hopefully that's the truth, but we'll just continue to be really careful and um, continue to do it in the future because we don't know what other viruses or bacteria are gonna be out there anyway, so it's good. And what are the things that you've done in your dental office to just, you know, prepare for this virus? Yeah, so we just kind of slowed down our our sterilization, um, just put more barriers up in the rooms than were there before. And we have been just taking out all the old furniture because it's just been there for a while. So things that are material, we're just kind of getting rid of and kind of thinking of doing plastic. It's, it, it's a nice combination of nice furniture, but kind of plasticized leather kind of things that we can wipe down and then we put up a, just a little clear barrier and I got it at Lowe's for like 35 bucks and we got it installed in 20 minutes and it looks really good yeah so that's it and we'll just continue looking and seeing um, about if we can get those N95 masks to feel a little bit more comfortable because the <laughs> ones we have are killing us. Those are super, super uncomfortable, but I think the KN95s are more comfortable. Great. So, yeah, so far that's what we're doing. And I'm just gonna ask this question because um, um, we wanna address those pe dentists that are living in fear right now because of the virus and that they, they can't even um, live a normal life and yeah. so any last thoughts on that um i think the world is gonna change a little bit after this but i think it can be for the better and i don't think it has to be for the worse so i'm actually really excited um i'm looking forward to having just more time with my patients instead of rolling through so many patients every day i think that we'll just have a way and a creative way to get around this and i think our patients already are seeing that and appreciating that so I think it's it's already better. Great. It's already better. Perfect. Well, thank you, Dr. Yes, Hannah, thank and you, thank Mia. you for your time. And thanks, 38 Smiles. Bye. Bye. Bye.